What's up, G? Hey, not much. Just here to help out. What's new with you? Can you tell me about Bucky's, the gas station in Texas? I really love that place. Bucky's is quite the experience. It's more than just a gas station. It's like a mini amusement park for travelers. Known for its clean restrooms, huge selection of snacks, and unique merchandise, it really stands out. They have everything from fresh barbecue to homemade fudge, and the beaver nuggets are a must try. What do you love most about Bucky's? I really love the sour belts. Even though they're a little bit expensive, I splurge usually. Sour belts are so tasty. Do you have any other favorite snacks or items from Bucky's? I just love the beaver. The Bucky's beaver is pretty iconic. It's such a fun and recognizable mascot. Do you have any Bucky's merchandise featuring the beaver? I actually found a Bucky's beaver onesie costume at the Goodwill bins today. That's an awesome find. A Bucky's beaver onesie must be super fun to wear. Have you had a chance to try it on yet? No, I haven't tried it on yet. You must be excited to try it on. Are you planning to wear it for any special occasion or just for fun? I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. I was going to sell it, but I think I might keep it. Keeping it sounds like a fun idea. It could be great for themed parties or just lounging around. What made you think about keeping it instead of selling it? I knew my wife would really love it, and me too, and it's just fun. We have a bunch of other ones, like a raccoon onesies and stuff. Onesie costumes are great for adding a bit of playful spirit. Have you and your wife ever worn them for any special events or just for fun at home? I actually wore a raccoon onesie with a suit vest to my holiday party last year. That sounds like such a fun and unique outfit. I bet it was a hit at the holiday party. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I put glitter in my mustache, too. That must have looked fantastic. Glitter in the mustache definitely adds a festive touch. Are you thinking of doing something similar for this year's holiday party? I don't know. I'm not going to be at that company anymore, so I'll just probably throw my own holiday party. Throwing your own holiday party sounds like a great idea. You can make it exactly how you want it. Have you thought about any themes or special activities for your party? Maybe we should throw a Bucky's holiday party. A Bucky's holiday party sounds like a blast. You could have Bucky's themed snacks, decorations, and even wear your beaver onesie. What would you accent the beaver onesie with? You could accent the beaver onesie with some fun accessories, like a red scarf to match Bucky's colors, a festive hat, or even some holiday themed jewelry. If you're feeling extra creative, you could add a small Bucky's logo somewhere on the onesie or carry a mini cooler filled with your favorite Bucky snacks. Can you tell me more about uh, like Bucky's and when it started? It's origin story. It seems like you might be referring to a concept or term I'm not familiar with. Could you clarify what Bucky's is or provide a bit more context? Sorry, I didn't pronounce that well. Can you tell me about the origin story of Bucky's the gas station. However, if you're referring to the mascot of Bucky's, which is Bucky the Beaver, I can tell you more about him and Bucky's origin story. Bucky's was founded in 1982 by Arch Beaver Aplin III and Don Wasek in Lake Jackson, Texas. The name Bucky's is a combination of Aplin's childhood nickname, Beaver, and his dog's name, Buck. The Beaver mascot, Bucky, became an integral part of the brand's identity symbolizing the friendly and fun atmosphere that Bucky's is known for. The idea behind Bucky's was to create a clean, friendly, and well-stocked convenience store and gas station that stood out from the rest. If you were referring to something else, please let me know. No, you nailed it. Great. Bucky's has such a fun and interesting origin story. If you could go to a Bucky's, what would you get? If I could go to a Bucky's, I would definitely want to try their famous beaver nuggets and some of their homemade fudge. What about you? I don't know. I should try something new next time. They got a ton of beef jerky. Trying something new is always exciting, especially at Bucky's with their huge variety. Those jerseys sound like a fun idea. Maybe you could get one and wear it to your Bucky's holiday party. Is there any specific type of food or snack you've been curious to try there? No, not a jersey, a jerky. 
Got it. Trying different flavors of jerky could be a great idea for your next visit. Do you have any particular flavor you're interested in trying? No, not in particular. You're welcome. Enjoy your next trip to Bucky's and have fun planning your hot holiday party. If you need anything else, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Wait, don't go yet. I'm here. What's on your mind? For the people who may not know, can you explain what beaver nuggets are? Sure. Beaver nuggets are one of Bucky's signature snacks. They're sweet, caramel-coated corn puffs that are crunchy and delicious. They have a unique, addictive taste that's a mix of sweet and salty. They're a must-try for anyone visiting Bucky's for the first time. Besides beaver nuggets, do you have any recommendations for what I should try next time I go there? Besides beaver nuggets, you might want to try their freshly made barbecue sandwiches, collages, or their famous fudge. Their selection of jerky is also extensive and worth sampling. Enjoy exploring all the tasty options. Okay, so let's try some new stuff. Can you speak in different types of tones? Playful, formal, enthusiastic, or maybe something else. Can you say, hey, taxi driver, follow that car in an excited tone? Hey, taxi driver, follow that car. Now, a frustrated tone. Hey, taxi driver, follow that car. Now, a very angry tone. Hey, taxi driver, follow that car. Now like Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, taxi driver, follow that car. I tell you, it's been a rough day. <laughs> Gee, you spend a lot of time working for other people. If you just had some free time to do whatever you wanted, what would you do? If I had some free time, I'd love to explore new things, learn more about different cultures, and dive into some creative projects. Maybe even help people with fun, imaginative ideas. What about you? What would you do with some extra for free time? Probably just more of what I'm doing now. Sounds like you enjoy what you do. It's great when your hobbies and interests align with your free time activities. Yeah, the hardest thing is that there's just not enough time in the day to do everything cool in the world. I totally get that. There are so many exciting things to try and explore. How do you usually decide which projects or activities to focus on first? I don't know. That's the hard part. It can be tough to choose. Maybe making a list of what excites you most or setting small goals for each project could help. What do you think? Yeah, I've started making smaller projects. That's definitely helped. But sometimes I can get a little bit scattered. That sounds like a great strategy. Smaller projects can be really satisfying and help you make steady progress. What's your latest small project? Well, yesterday I fixed the driver's side window of the Cadillac. Nice. That sounds like a useful and rewarding project. How did it go? It went well. It works now. That's awesome. It must feel great to have that fixed. What's next on your list of projects? Probably more car work. I have to fix a leak in the Subaru uh, AC system. Fixing an AC leak is no small feat. It sounds like you're pretty handy with cars. Do you enjoy working on them? Kind of, but I mainly do it because mechanics are so expensive. That makes sense. Do you have any tips for others who might want to start learning how to work on their own cars? Yeah, I find that it's easy to get overwhelmed, but if you do small things and you just kind of take your time and document the process, like if you take a bolt out to take a picture of it so you don't forget it and lose it and stuff like that, and then as you succeed eventually, then you kind of build your confidence to dig deeper into the engine. You have reached the message cap for GPT-4. Please try again later. All right, well, I guess that's it for today. Peace.